Hey, Concrete fans. Welcome back to, what is this? This is the joy of concrete. We've got a couple different shows going on the channel now, but I think we call this one the, the joy of concrete still. Uh, today we're making something with found objects. Back to the found objects. I've got these things. These are little, uh, little plastic containers that uh, seaweed snacks come in. I eat a lot of seaweed snacks, a lot of seaweed snacks. Um, and they come in the coolest little containers. Look at these things. Look at all the little ridges and stuff on there. So I was thinking, I'm like, wouldn't it be cool to make some little like tiles? Can you make little tiles in these things? That's, that's what I'm trying today. Some little tiles. So I've got some, look at this. I've got concrete already. So I'm going to drop a lump. Well, here we got, I've got some yellow. Let's make them all the same size. I've got some yellow. Let's try to take the same amount of teal. Like that's about, that's about the same. Put a little bit off there. And then I've got this cool pink. Pink. Let's get that the same too. Found object. What can we make? Just finding stuff around the house, the office, or in someone's garbage can maybe, or the recycle bin. Recycle bins have a, a, a lot of plastics in them, um, despite the uh, plastics not really maybe being as recyclable as you'd like to think they are. There's a lot of plastics in recycling bins, and you know what a great use of plastics is? Re reusing them, just straight reusing them, never mind recycling them. Go straight to reuse. So let's. I dumped them in there, making some just small little, I don't know what they're going to be, little tiles. They're going to be pretty thin. Tap, tap, tap it out. See what we get. Pretty easy one. I bet you've got plastic something around the house. I bet you've got a container that looks a lot like this container. I'd like to know from you. I'd like to hear from you in the comments. What's a piece of packaging that you accumulate? That you accumulate and you're like, what do I do with this? You know what? I've got, uh, I've got kids. And when my, when, my, when my children were much younger, the thing I accumulated a lot of is milk jugs. So many milk jugs. Like silly amounts of milk jugs. I would accumulate the plastic, those big four liter plastic milk jugs. Oh, the two kids, we ended up, I think we ended up, went up, went through like three of those a week. So we had so many, so many. And I started uh, making whatever. I actually started making them into molds. It's one of my, one of my very first found plastic things was using the plastic from milk jugs. trying to make something out of it. So I'm like, what do you do with this? And after using it a few times, then throw it in the recycle bin. What if, what if I got two uses, three uses out of a plastic container, and then I put it into recycling after I'd used it a couple times? It's a little bit better. An ideal world would be no plastic at all, or very little, at least no single use plastic. But we're working to get there, but in the meantime, let's make these uses of plastic not to be single use. If this was supposed to be a single use container, let's use it. Let's use it two or three or four more times, and then let's throw it into the recycling. Yeah. So my apologies, anyone out there who's like, you shouldn't be using plastic for anything. But, um, it's a journey and I'm getting there. Okay, there we go. These feel tapped out. They look good. 
Yeah. Let's leave this 24 hours and I'll catch you on the cured side. See what we got out of this found plastic mold, these cool little tiles I'm gonna make. And I end up getting a lot of these. So what if you had, you know, we could have a hundred of these things. Fun colors, hopefully beautiful colors and uh, catch you on the cured side. We're back. We're back with our found object casting. And I made these three thin little bits. One, two, three. Ooh. <laughs> I love them. Those are fun. This is what we made. I don't know what it is. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a wall tiled with these? What is it? It's a little dish. It's a tiny, tiny little dish to keep some little bits in. Thumbtacks. Stack your thumbtacks here. Or it's a mini, a little mini soap dish. But this helps illustrate a really interesting point with found objects, and especially uh, found single-use packaging. Um, you know, this is a great use. This is something you can do with single-use packaging. I don't think it's the, uh, you know, I don't think it's the ideal use case scenario. I might get to use these things if I'm going to use them as a mold. I can use these, I don't know, maybe Probably a lot. They've got a nice draft to them. They're they're well they're well designed. But I don't know, ten castings out of them. Let's shoot for. And then you know it's still going to get recycled maybe once or if you're lucky twice. That's the most plastic is ever recycled, well, compared to other materials which can be recycled indefinitely. Concrete being one of them. Concrete is a product that can be recycled indefinitely, with very little energy put back into the equation. It's one of the most easy materials to recycle on the planet and historically one of the most recycled materials on the planet. Think about that. But uh, yeah, this is our, this is our attempt at, at uh, some upcycling or downcycling, however you uh, would want to quantify it. But I got this little concrete cracker. Use it for whatever. So tell me what you find. I want to see videos of you finding something uh, and then casting, casting into it. And then what do you get? What's this new, beautiful, beautiful concrete object that you get from this found casting? I want to see it. Everybody, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Concrete, concrete. Uh, let's get back together sometime. Looking for more tips, advice, know-how, what have you, you can jump to the website, concreteconcrete.com. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.